Okay, so affinity segments in Google Ads allow you to target people who have shown an interest or a passion about a given topic. They are much more broad segments than a lot of the other audiences that you can target, and you're trying to reach people based on some of their very broad interests that may change throughout a given year. For example, somebody might have an affinity for watching golf, but they may only watch golf three months out of the year. So what you're doing is you're trying to find people who have shown some level of interest in something pretty repeatedly, even if they're not actively looking to purchase something. They're available for your search, display, video, discovery, and shopping campaigns. So let's go over some different examples of affinity segments and how they work. If we come over here to Google Ads and we click to create a new campaign, what we can do is say, let's try to drive some sales or leads. But if you are using affinity segments, you probably wanna be using things like product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach. So you're trying to kind of reach a much more broad audience and build awareness. So let's say we do brand awareness and reach, we choose a display campaign, we enter our website, we enter our campaign name, and we click on continue. Now once you have all of your campaign settings, you have your budget, your bid strategy, we come over here to targeting. Now it says optimized targeting is set up for us, help us get more viewable impressions by using information such as our landing page and our assets. So we're gonna click on add targeting here, and let's say we wanna choose a broad audience segment to try to get the word out there about our brand for product consideration. I would say affinity segments are much better for large advertisers who are not going completely, we need a positive return on ad spend with every single dollar that we spend, which you might be able to run a display campaign at $10 a day, $50 a day, $100 a day, that's really more geared towards branding, awareness, and product consideration. So if we come over here to browse, you're gonna see what their interests and habits are, affinity. So that's where we wanna go, and these are some of the different built-in affinity segments through Google Ads. So you'll see some of these very broad categories here, but let's just come into travel. So let's say we have a travel agency, and we're trying to reach people who, come over here to travel buffs, people who like to go to the beach. So we can choose beach bound travelers. And if we scroll over what this affinity segment is, let's look for our quick description here. People who enjoy vacationing at the beach, sunbathing, engaging in water sports, such as swimming and surfing. Top YouTube categories, water activities, beaches and islands, fishing. You can see water sports enthusiasts, luxury travelers, water activities, equipment and accessories. So basically anybody who has any level of interest of being near the beach, maybe using some different water sports like canoes and kayaks and paddle boarding near the beach, people who might go on one beach vacation a year, that's who's gonna be in this travel, travel buffs, beach bound travelers category. So if we're trying to get someone to go specifically to our beach, let's just say I'm trying to reach people and send them to Miami Beach, this probably isn't the best affinity segment. This is much better if you have a ton of different beaches and beach vacation deals rather than something specific. If you're looking for something specific, you probably wanna be in in-market and life events. So now if we come over here to search and let's just say we wanna search beach. So we'll just see what comes up for beach. So at the top, you're gonna to see a bunch of these different in-market segments, beautiful beaches, Florida beach vacations, Florida destinations, South Carolina beach vacations. So you can get much better audiences by using some of these in-market other audiences that they have. But as we scroll down, let's see what other options they have as far as affinity audiences. So here are what their interests and habits are, affinity segments, water sports enthusiasts, swimming enthusiasts, luxury travelers, family vacationers, outdoor enthusiasts, so you'll see they're much more broad categories of people, and that's kind of with affinity segments, why they're much better for a branding or awareness. If we click on this over here, we go to food and dining. Let's just say you're a fast food restaurant, you're launching a new item and you wanna reach, maybe you wanna spend $1,000 promoting this, this new item to a broad group of people who may have some level of interest in it, then you can choose fast food cravers here. So some different options as far as affinity segments where you can try to find your ideal audience, but just keep in mind, somebody who's a fast food craver may eat fast food once a week, maybe a couple times a month. They may not be somebody who's looking for every new fast food item. They may just go to the two restaurants they like and they get the couple meals they like and they're not really looking for anything else. So if you see things like this, fast food cravers, foodies frequently dines out, just know you're getting very broad groups of people. So if we keep coming down here, let's just say technology, mobile enthusiasts, social media enthusiasts. So 
some of these are going to be very broad groups. Social media enthusiasts probably makes up most of us. So you're going to see some very high weekly available impressions for affinity segments, which is why they make much more sense for people who are trying to go with that branding and awareness. If we go to home and garden, so do it yourselfers. Maybe I want to promote something related to DIY. I have some type of DIY course or some type of, you know, here's a hundred different DIY projects you can use. Then we can do do it yourselfers and you're going to see our impressions 10 billion plus weekly available impressions when we choose to target this affinity segment. So they are very broad, but you can help try to find people who have some level of interest in something. And to me, they make the most sense if you're using things like affinity segments and a detailed demographic and maybe an in-market segment to create a combined audience segment. I'll go through that in a separate video, but if you do want to target people based on what their interests and habits are, things that they have identified, they have some level of interest in throughout the year, then use affinity segments, but I would not use them if you're really looking to drive conversions and sales. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.